like that's my core. I just can't be dishing out money, you know. So I can't just be dishing out money like that. Like I'm made of it. Like I don't got my own. <laughs> I got my own stuff to pay for, you know. What? Yeah. No, I'm not gonna introduce my my kids to people that are not good for them. Are you crazy? I don't care. That should not change the parents. The parents should change because of their kids, not because of somebody else's kids. I'm just saying, like, do you really think that's fair? That I had to wait to have kids for you to get your shit together? You really think that's fair? I don't think that's fair at all. I don't even think that's a mature, a mature way of thinking or handling a situation. Oh, well, damn. He had kids? Oh my gosh, I want to be in my step, my grandkids' life. Let me... No, what? No. No. Did you not hear what I just said? Did you not hear what I just said? Right. Right. But she's still saying that. So you think that's fair? So yes, you just won't say yes. Okay. No, you know why she came a better mother? Because she didn't have any obligations to those kids. When she realized her own child had kids and she could be a mother without being a mother, she didn't have to do anything. There's no obligations. All I gotta do is be a grandma. You can't make up for that. You cannot make up for that. What? That is so unacceptable. That's because she doesn't have an obligation. Are you not listening? She has no obligation to those kids. They're not her kids. She can do whatever she wants. She can make up any reason to, to take them to the park. She can make up any reason to take them to the, to the amusement park. She can make up any reason to take them for a walk outside or help them ride their bike. She can come up with anything. But at the end of the day, she has no obligation to those kids. If she wants to turn around and say, oh, I don't want to do this for them anymore. They're not my kids. She can say that. You know what I'm saying? And she can say that for her own kid like she did. But was she being the right? Does she have to live with the guilt? Yes. Does she have to live with the guilt for her grandkids? No. 
And everybody looks at it like, oh, a second chance, a second chance to fix what you messed up because you have no obligations. You don't have to be there. You're choosing to be there. But when you have your own kids, you have to be there. Those are your kids. You got to take care of your kids. Or oh, you're supposed to take care of your kids, I should say. Fight, you ain't got to do nothing. She's supposed to. You already know people ain't, yeah, ain't wired too tight. But that's just, a sec that's just a segue to say, oh, you know, I, I mean, they can say all they want. Oh, these are my grandkids. I'm going to take care of them. That's cool. You know, that's fine. But that doesn't take away the fact that you neglected your own kids. And now you're like, oh, well, I'm tied to these kids. I don't have to really be there, but I want to be there. You know what I'm saying? You should have wanted to be there for your own kids. Why did it take for your kids to have kids for you to say, oh, shit. You know, let me be a parent to my grandkids. Like, let me be a parent to my grandkids. I don't even sound right. She's supposed to be. You're her mama. I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how God made it. It was how it was intended. There should be a stash of cash in there somewhere. Just like the last time. But the... But don't get overconfident. Good. Yeah. I'm happy for it. That's exactly how it was supposed to be. But this whole... Having... Having godparents take care of your kids for you instead of you taking care of the kids for yourself is bullshit. Not saying, not saying having godparents, not what I'm saying, but having a godparents take care of the kids for you is bullshit. Oh yeah, can you watch them all the time? Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, when are you gonna take care of your own kids? That's crazy. Why am I fucking out on this mission like I ain't done this a bazillion times, bro? What am I doing? Shoot. You got nowhere to go. It's your last day today. Anyway, that's just how I feel about it. You ain't got to feel like it. I'm not I'm not mad at you. You motherfucker. You know what I'm, I'm not I'ma kill you, then I'ma kill your sister. What you mean? Oh, cause she had it. Wait, who what? Who wait, who we talking about again? I'm gonna hurt you. Said that to you? Oh yeah, of course. And see, somebody else told me that too. Somebody, I, I don't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, but it's just because you said that. It just it reminded me of the subject. Somebody told me the same thing. They was like, "Yeah, you better start traveling and doing all this other stuff why, that you want to do. Why you ain't got no kids?" And I'm like, "Dog," I said, "I'm good." I said, "My kids ain't gonna stop me from doing something I ain't already or wanted to do right now." Like, I'm not missing nothing. If I wanted to do it, you know what I'm saying, I would have been done it. It would have been happened. If it was that important to me, I would have been done it. We wouldn't even be talking about it. My kids ain't gonna stop that. And if I want my kids to go, or I need something to happen for, with my kids for me to go, then that's just what it is. They're not gonna stop me because I got kids. But it's just like basing off. It's just piggybacking off of you saying that because that kind of threw me. I was like, I was like, why would my kids stop me from doing something? You know what I'm saying? That, huh? That's what I'm saying. If I can, if I can take them with me, then I'm gonna take them with me. If I can't take them with me, either I'm gonna find a way, or I wasn't meant. It wasn't meant for me to go. It's just that simple. But I'm not finna stress because I got kids and I can't go somewhere. If I ain't gone there already, it wasn't that important to me to begin with. Everybody, like, oh, you should go to Jamaica, go out of the country, bro. I want to go out of the country, right? I would love to go out of the country, but. Is it that big of a deal to me? No. If I have kids and I can't go out of the country, am I gonna be upset? No. Like, I, I, that, I don't know. That kind of threw me. He said that shit. I was like, what? What the fuck does that have to do with, like, how do you, how do you interpret your kids being the reason you can't enjoy life? Why the fuck did you have kids? I've been trying to have kids since I was 21. That ain't nothing. Say what? What? I'm trying to have. I've been trying to have kids since I was 21. I've been wanting to get married since I was 21. I've been always. I always wanted to get married. That ain't never been. That ain't never. Not, that ain't never changed. It's just I knew when I was when I was with my ex. I knew that I had fun. At least I thought I did. 
I found, but they didn't. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but I got I still gotta find somebody that tolerates the fact that you know what I'm saying. I like vagina a lot. Like you know how many women have like my phone is full of numbers, like I mean hundreds of numbers of women that I've met here in North Carolina alone. But like, oh yeah, we can do this and we can do that and I'm okay with this, blah 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 and then as soon as it comes down to it, oh that's all you care about. Like, bro, what? How'd you get that because I said I like sex? So that is I'm at, like, what? We're just getting started. That's really my big issue. I'm a good guy, so I hear respectful, give advice. I could that question all the time. Where are you going to settle down? Yeah. Before I started talking to you. I was dealing with somebody for years, but we were just never together. And we couldn't be together because she got some stuff going on to this day that she needs to take care of if we were to be together. But now we don't talk anymore because she fucked up. No. Yeah. Yeah, no. Because mm -mm. there's, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see that. Yeah, kind of, kind of gather that when you said you got your tube hey, tied. You know, Mel's having a party later. So. I'm gonna go to the stash house real quick. And then I'm gonna get back on the grind. Hopefully I can get all this done. You said what? I mean, I guess I also say at a certain age too, like I don't believe in not being able to have kids, but I also believe in not having the, uh, what is it? I guess I'm saying like energy. Um, and I don't mean like running around in circles, but I just mean like, like, um, I mean like um, mental energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like at a certain age, you just, you just like, I don't really want to deal with it. Not because you don't care about them, but it's just like you mentally don't want to deal with it. Five two ninety one. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying the right thing. I don't think I am. Of course, that's to be expected. <laughs> and that's not okay. Uh, that's not okay. That would be sad. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's obvious.
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's nothing that I want to do that I haven't done that I'm going to be mad if I have a kid. You know what I'm saying? That I can't do. Like, I'm good. Like, I've done... If there's something I think about, then I'm just going to have to be like, mm, let me figure it out. <laughs> but... Damn, where was I even at? I don't even know where I was. Damn it! And that's another thing, too. It, it, having kids does not give you more of a reason to do more stuff anyway. Yeah, because now you got to expose them to stuff and you want to enjoy and have great memories. I'm so I'm like, that's why I was, that's why I was just like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it just didn't make no sense to me. Like, how is that going to stop me from doing stuff? I just, yeah, I just think that really came from people that didn't want to have kids at that time. You know what I'm saying? To me. To me, my personal take, they they just didn't want to have kids at that time. I think I never been to a con. Oh, that's a lie. I have gone to a concert. I went to one concert and never went again. But. See, that's another thing, though. You gotta be a people person. You know what I'm saying? Concerts and events like that are for people. People. But he, no, oh, wait, oh, wait, okay, no, she was still a child, a oh, baby, oh, wait, no, that's different, I take that back, that is different. I thought she was like, clone or type shit. Oh, well, that's different, oh, she's a baby, okay, that, that that's way different, that's, that's way different, way, way, way different, what I was thinking, she's gonna run the light bus, okay. Considering your light was green, shut up. <laughs> All right, let's get ourselves another hacking device. Our guy with the terabyte deactivated Damn. the last one we took, so let's pay a return visit. And he's repaired the security system since your last visitation. <laughs> Eliminate any drones, and it should disengage. This guy's been evading the LSPD for some time. He keeps his tracks well hidden. <laughs> She did it. Nah. It's not wrong. Oh, yeah, because it could have been worse. You should have access now to troll. But that's also a temper tantrum, you know what I'm saying? So can't really be mad at the kid so much. Like, if you, you know, you can be mad if you taught him better. You can't be mad so much, especially if it was the first time. Type shit. You got it? Excellent. That device is our key to commandeering the train and <laughs> other fun besides.
<laughs> I won't claim him. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you, and you keep asking me about my family. I don't claim them for this. I might tell you that I may tell you they name, they, they, you know, their affiliation, but I'm not gonna be like. Okay, let's find that laptop. Our man's in that photo. Use your preferred method to locate him and retrieve what we need. I know he ain't cheating. How are you? Who cares? I should just start cheating too. That's what I like to hear. That's our target. You see the laptop? The information on that laptop oh, is invaluable. Time is the perfect time to strike. Proficient as usual. Obviously, we no longer have access to the train we used last time, so we'll need another one. Um, I just want you now. We'll just need to find the keys. I'm not saying it. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I'm not sure. There's no retaliation from the LSPD. Just a simple matter of rerouting some calls. Yeah, I'm not even talking about main teams. That's that's the thing. Yeah. Like for instance, I said I'll take it. Fifty one? Fifty fifty one? What is it? Um Yeah, he's about to turn he's about to turn fifty one this year, right? I had a speak with him. Fourteen. Right. Slow down. Right. So it's kind of like. Like for instance, this this is this is all of this. This is point blank. I love cars. That's never been. That's never, never, ever, ever happened. Ever since I was a kid, I'm talking like baby cars. So here comes my first car. You know what I'm saying? Two thousand two. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I get a chance. No big deal. No big deal. You know what I'm saying? I get the call. I go to the military. And I get it. Working on the car. And I get to the point where I start making my car look different. So him and I went half we went half and half on the floor. So is that not blowing up the fucking Oh, there she is. Anyway, <clears throat> you know, I go home after I done, you know, bought the car. Still on the warranty. Ain't nothing changed about the car. I avoid the warranty. It's a different look. He gets mad because I'm trying to sell the car because the car messed up. That undermines me. And he's like, I don't believe you did all that stupid shit for that car. There's no reason to start this thing. Blah, 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 blah. God damn. So now he believes that I owe him. The car. Are you tell me that. Anyway. But, but I'm just saying, like, it's just one of those things where how can you be mad at me doing something or something like that? I also provide money into it that you know my entire life I've always talked about, right? 
But now you don't want to talk to me because you feel like I don't want to that or something that was wrong. I'm confused. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if I sent my kid to college and they flunked out of college, I'm gonna be upset. But I'm not gonna like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna disown you because, you know what I'm saying? You messed up in college, like, that's your life. You gotta live your life. Now, I'm gonna be a parent forever, but you gotta live with the fact that you now have to recollect. You know what I'm saying? Your hard work. You know what I'm saying? Or our hard work. Sure, it's gonna suck because we did all that work for you to fuck it up. Yeah, it's gonna suck. That's, that's neither here nor there. That's like point blank obvious. But am I gonna be like, oh, that's not my kid anymore? Or whatever. I don't know. Just make up. Like, like, no, I can't do that. I never do that. I couldn't do that. It's just like that. I mean, because now I'm mad at you. I'm part of your life. So you fuck up. And I'm just not going to do. <laughs> I'm not going to do what it is that I did the last time. That I like, that just don't make sense. I don't get it. Yo, stop shooting me. I'm in the fucking train. I don't That's not the first time I heard that. I mean, not not as far as uh, myself goes. I, that's not the first time I heard that. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that, but uh, you know, at the time you're a child, so you're not thinking on that level. But, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Grand Torino, who cares? I mean, back then you probably killed a lot, but still, who cares? But anyway, continue. Hello, you're through 
to Meriwether Security Consulting. What can I do for you? Thank you. A helicopter is on its way. <laughs> okay, progress update. The train you acquired has been discreetly relocated into storage. I'm landing. Stay clear of the blades. What's the plan? Hope you're having fun. Where was Mama? Where was Mama? Anyway, continue. I was just curious. Don't need all the information and details and stuff. Just look at the view. Oh man. Have you ever thought about taking some flying lessons? It's easy. a psychopath or did it develop slowly man San Andreas is so beautiful oh, yeah. I mean that's a fair trade out though you know what I'm saying They gonna think it's rent, and that's that's whatever. That's between them and they they brand. But I know what it's for. Almost there. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Hey, get back in here!
awesome gangs in the area. All of them carry illegal weapons, armor, and masks. You decide who the lucky criminals are today. All we need is one cache of weapons and one stash of gear. Okay, your list remains consistent. Weapons, armor, and masks that can't be traced to us. Like when I move, when I have it, I have been living by myself since college, really. I don't really know if you consider living with your parents when you go back home for break. Is that the same thing? Right, so you're only there for break. You're not there because you live there every day. You're just there technically visiting. Right. So, like, for me, I only went home for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't there every day, eating lunch, eating breakfast, all that shit, making my lunch, dinner, none of that. I was at school. And then when summertime came, I stayed in the apartment. They were still paying for the apartment, granted, because I couldn't pay for the apartment. But, um, I didn't go back home, type shit. So, I guess if that's what we're talking about, I've been, I've been out the house since, literally since I went to college. Plus, I didn't want to go back home, you know what I'm saying? Like, once I got a taste of being out the house, dog, I'm like, why in the fuck would I go back home, bro? Just so I could wake up every every week and have my dad bug me with chores to do around the house? When I can do the chores here at any point in time that I want? Are you crazy? As long as I do the shit, you know what I'm saying? You're fucking dead. Huh? Oh, 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 your room, but his room. Okay, I got it, I got it. Who the fuck was shooting at me like that? Like, he was standing right next to me. That's how I know the game cheating. Fuck you. This fool just unloaded a whole clip on me. And ain't nobody even right here. Reloading. Nobody's right here, dog. The same guy I've been shooting at is the same guy that's been in front of me. I just got shot from this side and ain't nobody even over here. But I got a whole clip let off into me. <laughs> three possible targets, but you can hit them all if you're so inclined. Anything extra you get, I'll make sure it's available when you hit the factory. I don't know about all that. I never found that as disrespectful. Though. No, no, I'm not saying, no, okay. I'm not saying that I wouldn't respect what he said. I'm just saying I wouldn't find that, I guess as a parent, I wouldn't find that in a way what he said. Like, I wouldn't, because if I don't want my daughter to be that, I wouldn't think of her. Man, what the fuck, GTA, man? That was bullshit. 
I wouldn't think of her, in, you know, in that situation. Like, I wouldn't even have her, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know how to say that. I'm to say. I get the time. I understand the time. all based on how they grow up in the in the generation they grow up in that's understandable i get it i get it i get it that's because honestly at that time that's all you could do you wasn't there was nothing to compare it to you know it was just it was just bad but like now i'd be more afraid of the like the the drugs you know what i'm saying or the, or the, the violence, not more or less being around other people if, you know, um, because I already know my kids would make great decisions. But I'd be more or less worried about that and getting in trouble opposed to being out with your significant other. I'd be worried about all of it. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? But it wouldn't be, um, how can I say? Yeah, yeah, I, I can't say what I'm trying to say, but I'm saying, you know, like that wouldn't be the reason why his or her significant other couldn't come to the house or they couldn't go out the house because of uh, not the hours, but the, the notation behind the hours is what I'm saying. Like you come to you coming at two o'clock. All right, you know, you 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 playing around, you know what I'm saying? Twelve o'clock, you're pushing it. 11 o'clock ain't bad. You can still get back in the house by 12, 12 30 and, and be a productive human being and not be some slouch. That's cool. But you're talking about some 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Why are you leaving out the house at this time in the morning? Like, now I'm asking questions. Like, what is going on? What's, what you doing? You going to the drug house? Like, talk to me. Let me know. But then again, it all depends on your age, too. Because if you like 14, time on some 11 o'clock, hell the fuck no. Not at all. Is that, a, is that a red ant on my phone? Wow. Where'd you even come from? How'd you even get up here? You're really... That's another thing, too. That's another thing. That's another thing. A lot of parents don't have that with their kids, too. But their kids just willingly tell them stuff, and, and then other people question, like, you told your parents that? And then they looking at, the, at their friends like, Fuck wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people don't have that connection with their parents type shit. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. These have expiration dates? I didn't know Oreos had expiration dates. Air joining session, please return to GTA 5. Why did that just happen? <laughs> Couldn't be me. Couldn't be my kids, y'all. 
I'm going to tell you why, but go ahead. <laughs> you can't kill depending on depending on their body you know so depending on your body, you know, how bigger ones can't do what the little ones can because the little ones can do this, that, and this. How you can't feel it is inside of you. You can feel your fingers, but you can't feel a man's penis. Get out of here. But you can feel your finger. What do you mean I didn't give enough money to you? I like your car. Oh, God! Side note, did you know they had a battery operated gas can? Yep, battery operated gas cans. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of those. Anyway, huh? It's from my car. What do you mean? Literally. I keep a gas well I don't keep I don't have a gas can in my car right now because I took it out, but I keep a gas can in my car. My shit cuts off for half a time. Or something. Salutations. There are three potential getaway vehicles spread yeah, across can. these locations. There's actually nothing wrong with it. Now if you're sitting in 150 degree weather and in in the gas can is covered up and bottled up and smushed up or fucking like direct sunlight or like you know I'm saying no type of ventilation to the can then yeah that's different you pressurize the fuel it's going to explode but if you leave it if you leave it in your car during the summertime you'll be as long as it's got a ventilation that's always that's always, good. that's always why people say it's so good it's because you got that shit tightened up closed up you know what i'm saying windows rolled up like what else is it going to do it's literally a, a, a pressurized can of gas in a heat oven. Like, what do you think is gonna happen? Exactly. Like, if, like, when I used to leave my gas can 
in my car and it had gas in it, it was always in the trunk. But guess what? My trunk has a hole in it. Not a, not like a, a structural hole, but there's a hole in it. Where does the vapors go? Right out of the hole, whatever the wind blows for whatever long the shit sits in there. You know what I'm saying? It's not just the whole car's gonna smell like gas, you know what I'm saying? Because there's no ventilation. Like, no, it's not what you do. That's why the shit blows up. People do dumb shit. They don't, they don't look at shit and be like, oh, maybe, you know. But then again, like we already know, common sense ain't common. Damn near ain't even sense no more. Yeah, yeah. Like like the chick at our job, uh, uh, the little short chick, the little short Hispanic chick, um, that'd be late every day, not the light skin. When I always got, always got her hair in a ponytail. Little short one. Like, um, no. Yes. No. I don't know. Anyway, so if you know, yeah, yeah. But they both, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, with her. Anyway, so um, if you know you need an empty pallet, you know what I'm saying, and I got an empty pallet and I'm coming straight towards you, why in the world are you going for the stack of pallets that's the opposite direction? I'm literally driving towards you with an empty pallet. I know she's stupid. It didn't take me long to realize that after looking at all the dumb shit she does. I'm like, like what the fuck is wrong with you, yo? She don't act like she don't act like it. You can't be a you can't be a pretty girl and not give nobody attention. That's crazy. They about to kill me. Oh, I'm, about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. They about to kill me. Stop the way. Huh? Why? What she do? Yeah, like when we was upstairs and I was working right in front of her and the fucking box said it was staged, it was both of the other totes were staged at her shit, right? So I'm like, okay, I can't even scan my shit because hers are staged there. Well, what am I supposed to do? So I go, I give it to her. I'm like, yo, I got the stuff that you needed, you know what I'm saying? The last container or whatever. They really just killed her. Yeah, well, I knew that, and I didn't care. I played stupid, so I didn't want to do that. So I was like, I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, can you help me? Because it's the first time I've done this. At least this happened. And she was like, huh? What? I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, it says it's staged at your station. The one that you need to finish is the one that I have right here. I said, do you want this? And she's like, huh? What? I'm like, bro. Fuck that. Yeah, I don't think you will go through all that and then get Noel to co-sign for you. And you're already legitimately explaining it to us. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Anyway.
Did you see all them trainees up front? I saw when they was walking in, I said, God damn. I know. We ain't getting maybe one. Maybe. Tell me your best friends, though. All of them is cutting the buck. But when they put out them sheets, you already know two people leaving. So, uh, Kim and Rosa, if that's her name. I know Rosa, that's her name. And the other chick you talking about. Your choice of vehicle. Send me a message. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll leave the direction. This car should provide all the means necessary for a perfect escape. Where? Send your help. Send your help. Now clear the area. We'll be in touch. No, nah, they're not going to do that. They're going to leave around the OP. They're not going to make it. What was that? No, that chick. I thought, but the short chick. I guess she said her name is. I thought. I don't know. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. I'm just. I thought. I could have heard from everything. Like that person. I don't know. Oh no, oh no. Oh, they gonna take her out of housekeeping. I'm telling you that. They gonna take her right the fuck out of housekeeping. And she gonna go look at her numbers on the board and her shit gonna be negative 65. Yeah, I don't know where she be. I be trying to figure out how she show up every day late for work. Oh, let me tell you what your best friend did the other day that pissed me off. So, um, I'm up front, right? And they got, you know, how they staged their little pallets and shit, spaced away from our pallets. And, um, they want to split up their pallets from our pallets before we leave. Okay, whatever. That's cool. That's weird. So I'm up there bringing some boxes up there to, um, uh, the black chick bringing some boxes up there to her so she can finish up at the end of the day. Cool. I ain't really got too much to do. Cool. Excellent. So I'm up there messing with her and shit. We laughing and joking, whatever. Ain't no work being stopped, none of that, none of that crazy shit. Talk and shit to each other. And my lift, my reach is sitting right there between the two sets of boxes because, like I said, I was bringing her the boxes and I was, and she wanted me to push her line up. Okay. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that sound? Why is he on the roof, bro? Don't be stupid. I can't get on the roof. Bro, I'm about to say, I swear to God. Anyway, so I'm up there, you know what I'm saying? We're joking or whatever, blah, 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 blah. I can see, like, I always can tell when that motherfucker's looking at me, right? Always. Because he don't know when I'm going to look his direction. So every time I look his direction, you can see his head snap the other way. Like, no, it, like bro, I know you're looking at me. Right? For whatever reason. Nope. So, I'm like, alright, cool. Whatever. So, I go push your stuff up, and then I go take, I go take something to the desk. And I'm walking towards the desk, and here comes this motherfucker out of nowhere talking about some, 
yeah, well, you can't have your cell phone on the, on the floor. It's a safety violation. I'm going to need you to put that away. And I literally, in every sense of the word, when I say ignored his entire existence, I walked from my reach to the table, the same path, right back. Paid him absolutely no mind. No facial expression, no bodily expression, no breathing expression. I act like I didn't even see him. Like I walked through a ghost, right? Literally, every sense of the word, when you say you act like you didn't see somebody, I could have got a Grammy for that. That's how bad I ignored his existence. I could have gotten a Grammy. They could have given me an Oscar. Right? I got on my lift, put my stuff back on my lift, you know what I'm saying? And rolled off, right? Went from between the boxes. Now I'm making my way towards the edge of the baler. Here he comes. Hey! Like, who the fuck are you talking to like that? And I mean, he yelled so loud that I know if you were in aisle nine, you heard him. Everybody up at Induct heard him. I know for a fact they heard him. I know that that was guaranteed. Like, I, I that's point blank, right? But I know if you were like out nine, you heard that. Or if you were at the battery changer, you heard that. So um, now I'm going around trying to act like he wasn't talking to me like that, right? So I'm going around the baler list at this point. Now I'm between the baler and aisle eight, right? In the, the in the middle of the fucking intersection. He was like, I said, you can't have your cell phone on the floor. It's a safety violation. I said, I'm not even using the phone. I said, it's not even being used. It's just sitting there. He said, I don't care. You can't have it on the floor. I said, it's mad uncomfortable having that in my pocket leaning up against this goddamn lift. I said, I'm not going to do that. He said, I said, you can't have it. You need to remove it. I'm like, my dad wanted me to be a pilot. Right. I, I like, I like my job. I want to keep my job. So in order for me to not lose my job, for me not to say what's on my brain, on the tip of my tongue, chattering in between my teeth, parting between thy lips, I'm going to put the phone in my pocket. Because for one, yes, you are correct. My policy is not allowed on the floor, right? Cool, I'll give you that. But the rest of the shit is what's gonna get you fucked up with no care about this job. So I want to pay my bills. I want to eat food when I leave today. So I'm going to do what it is you were saying and not what you said. It doesn't matter what he should have said. It's how he should have fucking said it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is why this morning we had that sec that section, that same way in the meeting when he was talking about cell phones. He was talking about me because Bill yet again ran to my uh boss. So that's why we talked about that this morning, right? Anyway, you had to get Bill when you first got there because Remember to strap on your parachute. Like I said, that was the only reason he got away, you know what I'm saying, with the shit. Because 
what he was saying was right. If if he had pulled some bullshit, if he had pulled some bullshit, baby, let me tell you who would have heard me on Al 36. I would have been hoarse today. Still. I don't play that shit. That's what I told I told um I told him at least I told him this morning. I said, look, I said, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now, and this is why I built this is why you had to say something about stuff. He was like, Yeah, he didn't say anything. He didn't say that he talked to day one or nothing. I said, I'm telling you. And him and I had a little situation this I'm telling you, this is why you had to say what you had to say this morning. So I'm telling you, say he's got one last time. Or he says to me outside. He said the only reason I let him go this time is because technically he was right. Okay? But that's it. Other than that, if it wasn't for that, bro, come on, GTA, what the fuck was that? I said, if it wasn't for that, Luis, I said you would have lost the person yesterday. He started laughing. But he wasn't laughing like it, should, like it was funny. He was laughing in disbelief because he didn't believe that, you know what I'm saying? He handled the situation like he handled it. I'm like, yeah, I said, man, I said, I said, I said, it's not about what he said, or less. I said, it's about how he said it. So you don't got some grown ass man. said, you don't need to talk to me like that. I'm not a child. I don't need you to, you know what I'm saying? Raise your voice and be like, I, like, I can't hear you. If I can't, damn. Wow, GTA, that was different. That was I said, if I, if I heard you and I didn't acknowledge you, it was on purpose. Not deaf. You know what I'm saying like that. Was, that was on purpose. Like I, it, I intentionally, literally, ignored your existence. You don't need to yell at me. But this is me talking to Luis, not to Bill. So I was just like, look, I said, I said that's his last time. You know what I'm saying? I said he, he got snappy with the one time, you know, a couple months ago, this year. I said now he don't raise his voice. I said the only reason he got away with this this time is because he was technical. I said other than that, Luis, I said it would have been over. I said there wouldn't have been no discussions. There wouldn't have been no let's go up front. It wouldn't have been none of that. He would have got his shit right then and right there. I said, bro, I let it go. It's based off the comments. That he has some. He has some right. Mind. Other than that, you know, you ain't got nothing to talk about. Sam. I said, but let it happen again, though. I said, I promise you, you will see a side of day one that you never knew existed. Don't worry. These drivers won't realize this is part of a master plan. They won't call it in. <clears throat> With that uniform? If so, you should be at an advantage. Just try not to show your face for as long as you can. It's clear. Oh. 
That's what my aunt told me a while back. She was like, man, she said, she said, you a good kid. She said, man, you get mad, dog, it's over. <laughs> like, she said, she said, I, not, no, no, not like that. She just, no, I don't play no shit when it comes to, when it comes to shit that's wrong, I don't play no shit. And, and given that I'm an adult and I have things that I can lose based off of my reactions, I can't do, you know what I'm saying, or say what I want to do or say. But when I was a kid, bro, if I didn't know you and you weren't my family, man, well, you want to go hear the end of it. You want to go hear the end of it. Like, I, like, I went to the skating ring with my little cousins. Like, I took them to the skating ring. My aunt knew, but I took them to the skating ring. So, of course, at any point in time, as usual, I'm always, you know what I'm saying? I'm always uh, responsible for them. And that's cool or whatever. I ain't, we ain't tripping off that. But what you not finna do is fuck with my cousins. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't fucking exist. We not, that's not, you know what I'm saying? We not even finna do that. Like, it's just, we not... So they had gotten to a situation and my and my cousin, he needed some help. And I was just like, <laughs> I just went the fuck off. Went, I just went the fuck off. Cause like I said, I don't know y'all. You know what I'm saying? You fucking with my family and you fucking my little cousin. It's over. And then, so the situation got ended and shit like that. And uh, my aunt came to pick us back up and she was like, man, she said, I can't, I can't let you go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I can't let you. I can't let you take them nowhere. I said what? I said why not? He said. <laughs> she said, "Cause boy, when you get mad, you got an attitude. I can't let you go nowhere. You got an attitude." She was like, she was like, yeah. They showed me the security camera. She said, I can't let you. I can't no. She said that'd be the last time. <laughs> she said, you fuck around and be locked up somewhere. So. Hey, it is what it is, man. I'm not to my family and shit, thinking it's gonna be sweet. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? You... Did I already do this? No. <laughs> With the who? Great patch. Uh, uh, Jerome? Dreads? Yeah. 5 a.m. shift? Yeah. Yeah, you're drunk. That's the light skinned dude on the reach. They'll be on the reach sometimes, or he'll be at the door. The, the pretty boy. Yeah, that's Sterling.
Okay. I hope you're ready for a fight. Because the cartel have you in their sights now. I'll work out the details and be in touch. This is it. The final hit. Shit. I just fucked up. Damn, I just fucked up. I did all that. I did all that sneaky work and didn't even wipe the camera footage. Ah! Shit me, there's a, there's a couple of them out here popping out now. But now I don't want no damn 12 kids. What the look like 12 kids? They, be, they all be homies. That ain't by accident, that's by choice. I'm putting them all out. Huh? Yo, GTA, bro, you are pissing me off with this bullshit ass throw cars in the way that aren't even a part of the fucking mission, bro. Like, why is there a car on the other side of the street making a U-turn in front of me? Why Why are you making a U-turn and then you finish the U-turn by going the same way you were just going? Like, what? what? My nigga. You just did a whole S from the other side of the street. And you were going? Why are you on the wrong side of the street, bro? What? Bro, I swear to... Why do you say that? What does that even mean? Oh wow. That's nuts. <laughs> My fucking neck. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't know how to feel about that, but okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a trim. I thought that was a trim. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> Focus crystal. Don't know who the fuck crystal is. That doesn't explain who the fuck she is. Hey, sometimes in the field, we meet the other And at that point, one must abandon all subtlety and get the job done. I pass no judgment for that. Though in this case, it does mean the cartel will be ready for you when you return for the raid. Man. That don't even make no sense. How are you gonna get arrested for somebody you're not even married to? That, again. How are you gonna get in trouble and locked up with somebody you're not even married to? I know that. You're missing my point. But anyway, keep going. about none of that kids and freak shit if she don't look good and her mentality ain't good. 
no, no, no. I done met some freaks that's dumb as fuck. I done met some good girls that ain't got no sense. I done, I done met all the shit. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Pretty much what I just said. <laughs> like, yeah, pretty much. Intelligent, resp all the normal, regular, everyday shit. Then she gotta be a freak. She gotta know how to use her fucking brain. I mean, I don't really know how to, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's different. Like, I could have a list and meet somebody and, and knock off three things because I'm like, I'm okay with that. But they got it with the, the respectful, the, you know what I'm saying? All of that shit, common sense, all that, that shit, that's got to be, that's got to be a gift. Bitch, I know y'all didn't just fucking close the door on me. Oh, this is all because I fucking fucked up the mission. I'm about to go on. I did all that sneaking around. Fucking with you on the phone, I forgot to do something in the other mission. Yes, I'm blaming you, because you are the reason I forgot. <laughs> You're literally the reason I forgot. I never forget that. I'm never on the phone with you when I put, when I do that mission either, and I never forget. Now, all of a sudden, I'm on the phone. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Yeah, empty the clip and don't reload, bitch. Empty the clip, don't reload. That's cool. Just keep shooting. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's legit. That's fucking legit. Man, burn. That didn't burn. Wow. Burn! Thank you. Oh shit, I forgot there's another guy right there. I did not want to do this guns blazing. But I already did the stealth part of the mission, so I guess I done done that enough, right? I haven't seen that enough. No, they didn't make him move his head when I was shooting at somebody else. Get the fuck out of here. They didn't just do that real shit. How you dodging your head and you don't even know where the bullet's going? Shit, <laughs> right. That's the shit I'm dealing with. I'm shooting at somebody else and you dodging your head. How You don't even know where the bullet's going. I'm inadvertently shooting at you and you don't even know it, but you dodging your head. Get out of here. Shoot him, bro. Shoot the nigga right there. Stupid ass game. You trying to make me shoot him. I don't want to shoot him. I want to shoot this guy. He's the one with the gun. Crazy ass. They're trying to make me shoot him so I could die. It's crazy. I don't know. I mean, like, I have the pretty basic standards and shit. I mean, I got shit that I just can't do. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I hope I can get all this done in one one video. Shit. That's gonna piss me off if I can't do it in one video. Really gonna piss me off. I can't even. Uh, hold up. Wait, where am I going? Where the fuck are you? Let's go. Like my mom, she had a she had a um I guess a chick she called her goddaughter or whatever. I don't know. Beautiful as hell, dog. Smart, intelligent, respectful. You know what I'm saying? Church girl. But I told her that I was a freak. I told her before she even came to see me, my mom, or whatever her dumbass excuse was for coming down to see me. Told her. Hey, homie, told her. 
Uh-huh. What about it? <sighs> He's okay. Yeah, she's okay. Like, she looks like she does too much. Like, I'm not a big fan. I mean, don't get me wrong. Makeup is not ugly, right? Not ugly. And I don't judge anybody for you. So that's not even what I'm saying. But it just looks like, I don't know. I feel like now that I'm older and I and I have my preference on makeup, like, I'm a really natural person. I mean, as you can see, I'm a natural, like, all I need is that natural, like, you don't need no makeup. All you need is some fucking lip gloss type shit. Oh, I missed the area. You probably say you dumb dumb. I'm just gonna shoot the lot. Oh, damn, uh. Stupid ass game, uh. I mean, that's cool. Bro. Like I said, I don't have anything against it. That's not even what I was saying. I was just saying, like, as a first picture, I don't want to see it. Oh, where the fuck is he at? And who am I getting shot by that's not on my, my fucking radar? Oh my gosh, well, I'm gonna die. Because they're bullshitting me right now. I'm gonna die, bro. They're bullshitting me right now. Yeah, they're bullshitting me for sure. Bro, come on, GTA. Stop playing with me, man. Damn, they finna get me fucked up over here. Can I get some help back, please? Thank you. No, not shoot the- not get shot, nigga. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm over here trying to get my health back. Oh, I forgot I got snacks. No! My nigga, stop! Oh my god, bro! This is why I hate the controls on this game. Why, if I flick it, is he running in a circle? That doesn't even make any sense. If I flick it, why are you running in a circle? Ew. You know what? I'll take her. I'll take her. Right to the fucking zoo. Yeah. I bet you if I remove the hair from her hair, she'll think twice. Not a fucking afro. Can we just, yeah, we're just gonna talk about something new. I don't want no parts of that Jumanji experience. Yo, why is my aim so tight? I need to loosen up my aim. I don't know how to do it. Bro. No, the fuck they know. And if they did, they gay. <laughs> Where are you gonna go now? Oh shit, man, damn. Somebody help me. What? That's so trifling. That is so trifling. 
Just gotta fuck it. No, she no, he don't. He just tolerated because he want to deal with you, but he don't like that hey, shit. Oh, there's that. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Like, I, I had messed with one of the chicks I was messing with before, and uh, we, we was, whatever. She um, came over one time, and she didn't shave. And I said, You lucky. I said, You lucky. And I'm horny, and you already here. Because I'd have told your ass to go back home. I said, This is the only time you're going to get a pass with that shit. Said so next time you know that shit, don't even call me, don't act. If I tell you I want it, tell me no. Hey, no. You know better. Hey. Like you lucky. <laughs> I know, I know. No, 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 no. Ain't shit funny. Ain't shit funny. You're not playing that. Can I hurry up? Cause I'm way past the time to make this video. I'm bullshitting right now. <laughs> oh, they... Lord, he ain't no way. Ain't no way, not you. That's what we get. Your friends must be some fucked up individuals. Then. You know what to do. Said your friends must be some fucked up individuals. Then. What is this game right now? I ain't never had this much fucking trouble with this goddamn mission. What the fuck is this right now, dog? Oh, she was Ubering, all right. Hell yeah. You got a free ride and a free ride. But she gonna pay. Yeah, she got a good tip, all right. The whole goddamn motherfucking tip. <laughs> she got the whole goddamn tip. She ain't getting the tip. She took the tip. That's what she did.
You say what? Forget the extra equipment you sourced if you feel something else will be more effective. I bribed friends in the Department of Sanitation to leave it in the dumpster. It's clear this place is barely functioning as a chicken factory. One would assume they'd have more cock and bell staff to keep up appearances. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe to assume you didn't read the manual for the hacking device you picked up, correct? Well, I did, and it's simple. Just find the strongest signal, and it should jump on the connection. Remember, there are multiple connections. <laughs> you need to hack each one before you have the code. Oh, that's right, it's a computer back here, I'm sure. That's why what? <clears throat> it's gonna be a bitch getting out here by myself, but I've done it before. Yeah. The fuck is that mean? Where are you gonna go now? Body count you mean like am I fucking? Body count means how many people have you fucked. Right. But no. At work? Nobody. What do you mean? They don't even like me. Because I asked for a number and they told everybody about it. Mm hmm. Or they expected me not to ask this person and that person for their number because this person said no. Like I was supposed to just stop at one. But it's cool. It is what it is. I can't change it. And I'm not embarrassed about it. I'm single. I can do that. I know. I learned very quickly. And I didn't even do nothing crazy except with one person. We never even did anything. That's the crazy part. <laughs> uh -huh. This is recent, like with one of the trainees that just started. No, I'm saying he went with one of the trainees or with somebody that actually works there. Is this recent or is this like old news? Oh, 
Oh, damn. And they, and they talk too much about in there about nothing too. That's the crazy part. Like y'all don't even have anything to talk about, and yet y'all talking. What are you talking about? Like you, like how could you? I, this is what I don't understand about women, and more specifically younger women, right? or like messy women in general. Like how could you clown a dude for finding you attractive? Like I just. It it baffles me. Or or is it that I guess maybe? Or what about if they? I, yeah, I can say that because there's a chick, I kid you not, there's a chick that I asked her number for. <clears throat> she gave me all these stories, all these running around saying she had kids and a man at the house and all this other shit. And uh, was still talking to me and all this other shit. Not like, uh, not just like regular everyday conversation. It was like feeding into my bullshit. And then she, and then, and then didn't know that she was telling the guy everything that I was saying. He was telling me, but she didn't know. And and knew didn't know that I knew that he was married and didn't know that I knew that she wanted him and he told me she wanted him and he told me and I'm like what I said so you turn down the single guy that's got everything in the world for the guy that's married that don't want you nice work She she tried she she could try to justify that shit all she wants to. Oh no. Then then fucked around and told him, yeah, I just got me another nigga. So now she fucking two dudes, right? All while still getting trying to do get the married dude. I'm like, what? Uh-uh. Nope. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Damn. Like your boy said, I ain't never had that. I'm trying to find out what that be like. Let's do this again soon. Effenberger out. 